Okay, just as a quick introduction to the stuff that we did to set everything up on our phones. So I just wanted to um, run through what I did. Now you can definitely slow down this video as much as you need to, um, if you need to, or like stop it and pause it and everything else. So I'm just gonna go through the process and just talk through it and, it, um, and then pause me when you need to. So I'm going to start out by creating a, a map. So the first one here, for example, we had assignment nine. So I'm just going to call that assignment nine. And I'm going to make sure that it's on a hard drive so that I can find it. So um, for example, I am going to find my computer, this PC, and I'm going to put it in my teaching. And just, oh, I'm going to go up a level and make sure I highlight maps to a four and then okay. So again, it, that location is not the, like you don't go into the folder and type out the name, you just find the folder. When I press okay, it creates a map for us with nothing in it other than just the world topographic map. And then what we're going to do is we're going to create a, um, create some feature data sets. And so here, if we go over to the catalog on the side, now if you don't see that, for example, if I press the X there and you don't see it on the side, go to view and click on catalog pane and it will pop up. So then we're going to go into catalog, we're going to find databases, you're going to expand it by clicking the little arrow, and then you're going to see your geodatabase that's here. That's what GDB stands for, is geodatabase. We're going to right click on the geo database. We're going to say new and feature data set. And in the, geo, the data set, we're going to call this one man made features. And the coordinate system that we are going to use is 3TM. So I'm going to just go into the search, type 3TM, and it will only give me my 3TMs that I need. So here at SATE, we're going to be in NAD 1983, 3TM 114. Then we're going to press OK and then run. And that's going to create my first geodatabase. Then I'm going to do a second one. I'm going to right click, close the geoprocessing tab, go to catalog, right click on the geodatabase, say new feature data set. And this new data set is going to be natural features. And again, we can say we can click on the little globe, type in 3TM. And find NAT 83, 3TM 114 and run. And the last one that we were doing was transportation. So again, right click on the geo database, then go to new and then go to data set. And this one is going to be transportation. And type, go on to search 3TM. And then press OK and then run. So now when you close the geoprocessing tab, now you're going to see that you have three data sets that are empty. So now we're going to create some, um, some feature classes. So we're going to right click on man-made, go to new and feature class. And under the man-made feature or man, <laughs> under the man-made features, one of them is a manhole. And that is going to be a point. Then you can click next. And here is if you want to do something a little bit more, um, a little bit more complicated. For example, we can say like material, and we can say code. So these just give you a couple things that you can type in information so that it'll allow you to classify it later. Then press next, and just check that it's the right database, and you can click finish. And other editing, interesting, okay. It didn't like something there, but it worked out okay. All right, okay. So now I'm going to create a new, I'm going to right click on my data set, go to new and go to feature class. And in my feature class this time around, I can say light pole. That is also a point. 
and the next and I can also say material for maybe it's on a wooden one or maybe it's on metal I can also add code and then I can hit next make sure it's the right um, spatial reference <laughs> and then uh, what was another one the fire hydrant we did so fire hydrant point uh, this could be condition and code next just double check the coordinate system and then finish and you're going to continue to do that with the natural features so for example with natural natural features we did we had tree and that was a point and then this could be type of tree and we can have a code and then next just to make sure that it's the right coordinate system and then finish and then for transportation we can right click we're going to say new feature class and in this one we have sidewalk now normally sidewalk is a line but to use it in the GPS app it needs to be a point so we're going to choose it to be a point and they say next um, you don't need to have any field name uh, if you want you can definitely add it but check the coordinate system before you say finish and then we're going to do the same with road so road is normally a line but we're going to make it a point and we're not going to add any new fields just double check the coordinate system and then finish and the last one we did for transportation was new feature class and this one was parking and we're going to make it into into points so you would do a series of points going around the parking lot and this one maybe we have a name and we can add a code and then next and finish so now we have a variety of points now one of the things that we can do is also allow us to take photos so if we right click on the fire hydrant we can go to manage and then find manage along the side and click on attachments and then press OK you'll see that it's added below so you can do this with all the ones that you want to add photos to now this is not a requirement um, if you if, it, if it's something that you want to do then you certainly can um, and if you don't want to do it that's fine but it's just kind of fun to be able to take a photo and say hey it's on the map look at that so we can just add attachments across the board here right click manage check attachments I'm not going to bother doing pictures of roads or sidewalk but you could also do that as well so now once you've got this all set up so everything is ready to go all we need to do now is we're going to go up to share and I need to sign in so notice that it doesn't allow me to do anything there it's because I'm not signed in so I'm going to sign in up at the top it's not going to affect anything that I have done here so far it just signs me in I'm gonna hit save just in case there shouldn't be anything that goes wrong but it should be good then you're gonna save as a web layer so share and then web layer then publish web layer and before I get too excited I'm going to right click and I'm going to remove both the world topographic and world hillshade because those two cause errors so I'm just going to remove them here I'm going to call this my assignment 9 and this is features in field and then tag is state my layer type is feature I want to save it to my root folder so the folder you find your online name and put it to root whoops I didn't mean vector and then I can click analyze now it may give me some errors some of them I can fix some of them I can't this one if I right click it 
and go to assign, auto assign IDs sequentially. Then I can analyze again. And it says no errors or warnings found. And I click publish. Oh, I need to choose a different name. It doesn't like my name there. So this is for my video. <laughs> so just do a quick analysis of it just to make sure it's good. Shouldn't have changed anything. And then I can click publish. So once, as this is doing its work here, I can start thinking that I can load up um, my online account and that's where I'm going to be able to put it onto my phone. Because right now all I've done is I've created it and I've put it into the online account, but it's not saying that, hey, you've got something that you can go work on. So we're just going to let it finish its uploading. And then it gives me a green. If it gives you red again, try analyze and publishing again. Just click publish. So then I can go to online. So I'm going to go to ArcGIS online, which is just ArcGIS.com. And sign in. There's a lot of signing in when it comes to this. And sign in. And then here, what we can do is if we go to content, we're going to see that it's available. So here's my video that I have created here, and I've got a feature layer. So I'm going to click on my video, or like on the feature layer itself, <laughs> not the video. <laughs> um, and I'm going to go to settings because I want to be able to edit it. So I click edit and enable sync. So it allows me to use it if it's offline. And everything else should be good. And then I can click save. Then it's saved. So now what I can do is I'm going to go back to my content. And so I have that there. Now I can go to click on it again. I guess I didn't have to go back to content. I can hit open in map viewer. So now we see that it's been added here and I have all of my um, my feature classes. So I need to save it. So I'm going to click Save and Open and Save As. And so this one, so I'm going to call this my Assignment 9 video because I'm giving this as a video. I save what folder I want it. Everything else is fine. And then I can hit Save. And watch it count down. <laughs> and now it's saved. So if I go back to my content, then I'll see it here. So now when you go to open this in your, your field maps, because you've allowed it to, to edit, when you go into, um, into your field maps, you might have to, in order to get it to refresh properly, you might have to sign out of your map and then re-sign in. So when you have um, when you have your maps all ready to go, then then it should show up in there. If it's not in there, then you might have missed something that I've done all along the way. So go back and check. But as points and everything else, it should be good. So if I hope this helps you get started. If you want to give this a try, if you didn't, um, and then. In the end, once you are fully finished the map, let's say you've gone out, you've collected the data, you can check it by going into the map itself. And you can open in Map Viewer. And you would see all your points. I haven't done anything, so that doesn't really help much. <laughs> but if I go back to Content, I can go over to, well, there's a couple things I can do. But the main one is I can click this three dot button, and I can say Open in ArcGIS Pro. So then a uh, file will download uh, P-I-T-E-M-X 
and you would just hit open and it will open up ArcGIS Pro with all your points and all the data that you've just collected.